Good to see everybody. So we have something really important to talk about here, guys, and it is your push-ups, okay? Uh, a lot of you, you know, we're, we're always talking to you in class and always reminding you how to do good push-ups, and we know you guys have been trying hard on them, but, you know, some of you guys just haven't been able to get that, that push-up technique, technique down. It's not because you're not trying, you know, it's a lot of it's because you haven't, uh, uh, you know, develop that proper technique, that proper strength to do a push-up. So I'm going to give you an easier version. I'm actually doing this video first before your warm-up because you're going to be doing those push-ups later in the warm-up and I want to see you really emphasize proper technique. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to get a bench. Okay, I have this bench here in my gym at my house. Um, if you don't have something like that, you could possibly use a chair. Um, you know, stairs work really great. Anything that gives you some kind of an elevated angle, that way you're taking some of the weight off your arms and you don't have to push up as much weight. Um, like I said, a lot of you guys have trouble because it's tough to push up that whole body weight um, and you can't quite do it yet. So if we lessen some of that weight, it's gonna make it a little easier. And before you know it, your, your push-ups um, are, are gonna be, they're gonna be amazing. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put our hands on the edge of the bench like this. So my arms are up. Look how my back is straight. Okay, I don't have my, my booty up in the air like this. My back is straight. I'm gonna look forwards. I'm gonna bend those elbows. Look how I'm touching my chest to the bench. And then I push back up. Again, I'm gonna bend and push back up. Really try to keep that back straight. Okay, down, up, down, up. And you guys can see how much easier this is to do a push up. You're, you're not pushing up nearly as much weight. And I can crank through these pretty quick here. Um, and you guys are gonna find you're gonna be able to do a lot more push-ups than you normally would. And most importantly, this is teaching you how to do that, that push-up correct and developing all those proper muscles. So, um, you know, I think one of the reasons why people get frustrated with the push-ups is, you know, they'll try really hard for a class or two and then they'll try to do a proper push-up and it's not happening. It's gonna take some time, okay? So I got a challenge for you guys. Your goal is to do 50 push-ups every day. Okay, and I know, I know 50 push-ups sounds like a lot, but spread that out. It doesn't have to be all at once. Um, if you do 10 here, 10 there, take a little rest. Throughout the entire day, if you do 50 push-ups, you know, do them on a bench, do them on the stairs. Um, and you have to do that until we see you back in class. When we see you guys back in class, if you've been doing those 50 push-ups every day, you are gonna be rock stars. You guys are gonna be big, strong, and you're gonna have amazing push-ups. Okay guys, remember our challenge, 50 push-ups every day. You're about to do your warm-up, so you're gonna knock out 30 of them right there. Okay, let's get started. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, come to rest. Okay, now from here, squats. One, two, three, four, five. On your backs for sit-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Push up. One, two, three, four, five. Round two. One, two, three, four, five. 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 
One, two, three, four, five. And last round, round three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last set of push ups, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Okay guys, we're gonna go through our stretches now. Start off sitting down, figure four. You're gonna do your right side first. Make sure you tuck in that left leg towards your right knee. And from here, reach. One, two, three, four, five. Switch feet. Other side. One. Two, three, four, five. Both legs open. Try and push yourself out into this one a little bit more. What I find that helps is while you're doing the stretch, you pulsate down and up, down and up. Let's get through. One, two, three, four, Five. And then from here, feet together, reach down, grab your toes. One, two, three, four, five. Feet together for butterfly. For this one, make sure you're not actually grabbing your toes. Grab your ankles right here. Use your elbows to push your knees down, okay? You don't want your elbows in front of your knees. That doesn't help. Right here and push. One, two, three, four, five. Stand up. Fighting stance, left legs, right legs back. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Switch feet. Left leg now. So, um, as you can see, I got my gloves on. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be doing some practice. I like wearing my gloves when I practice my punches because the gloves have a little bit of weight to them and practicing with that extra weight uh, just makes your punches uh, a little faster because you're having to work a little harder. So if you have gloves, put them on now. If you don't have any gloves, that's fine. You just practice with your, your bare hands. So we're gonna start by working on our jab. Okay, so there's a couple things I want to go over here with that jab. So we want to get into a good stance. See how high my hands are. They're not down here. I like to keep those hands up above my chin. Okay, I throw that jab and I'm going to extend that jab out, making that arm straight. Look at my shoulders are straight. Keeping that hand up on the side of my face here and return. Again, jab, 
and return. I'm gonna do it facing the camera. Look how as I throw that jab, I turn the shoulders, almost like I'm doing a bow and arrow here, okay? And return, jab and return. Let me turn sideways again. We're gonna throw that jab out and return. Jab, return. So as I throw that jab, look what I'm doing. I'm turning that wrist and bringing it back. Jab, return. Again, jab, return. Let's do a couple more here, guys. I'll do them with you. Ready? One, return. Two, return. Three, return. One thing I'm not doing right now because I'm counting is I'm not breathing. Okay? When you throw any technique, a punch, a kick, a block, you breathe out. That's for a couple of reasons. Number one, so you stay a little bit more relaxed, okay? When you're relaxed, your punches come out faster. If you're not relaxed, you're tight. You know, those punches don't come out very well. The second thing is when you are forcing that breath out with every move, um, you're not expending as much energy. You know, if you hold your breath, you get tired quickly. So we're gonna breathe on every one. So let's do those 10 jabs. I'm gonna count, but you're gonna breathe. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, go ahead and relax. Rolling. Okay, everybody. So, uh, one thing I'm gonna work on now is, is how to develop uh, speed in your punches. So, we're gonna take our, our basic punch, our jab, and we're gonna isolate the motion. Now, I know I tell you guys, don't throw arm punches. That's basically throwing a punch with just the power of the arm. No hips, no shoulders. But that's actually exactly what we're gonna do right now. And by isolating the arm, we can really work on that snap, that explosiveness. What I want you to do is take that jab and all we're gonna do is extend from the elbow and back. Extend, out, and back. Now, this does a couple of things. Number one, again, it's working on that explosiveness this also teaches you where, where and when to stop your punch. A lot of people will throw it and see how that kind of pulled me forwards, that pulled me out of my back leg. I went too far, okay? You know, sometimes we'll see that we don't go far enough. And if you guys can see how my arm is still bent, um, and I'm not getting quite that full extension. So I want to, as quick as possible, get to that extension and be back. Again, I'm not using the shoulders, no hips, no legs. I'm gonna snap that punch out. Let's go and do some together. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So, you're gonna do 50 of those. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video here. Do 40 more of just the jab. Okay, go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with that reverse punch now. That reverse punch is with the backhand, so I take that backhand, I turn the foot, I turn the hips, I turn the shoulder, extend that arm out as far as possible, and come back. You know, a lot of punches we see, they'll be here. And you know, you can't reach that far, you're not getting that much power, and if you look at me right here, my face is totally exposed, okay? And I can get hit pretty easily. But if I turn, Okay, now you can't really see my face as well. I'm covered up a lot better. So that punch not only reaches further, but it also acts as a way to defend you as you're throwing that punch. So let me turn side here again. Yeah, I'm gonna punch and then return. And notice how when I throw that punch, what this hand does, this hand comes up and it protects me. So I'm in my, uh, my fortress here. That arm is protecting me, this arm is protecting me. I keep those elbows in. Yeah, I'm gonna do that punch and back. Let me turn sideways. Again, punch and back. So you guys should all be remembering to do what? Breathe on every punch. I know you guys remember that. Again, punch and back. Let's be a little faster now. Let's do 10 of these. Do them with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good job, guys. Okay. okay, go ahead and relax. Okay, guys, so we're going to work on isolating that reverse punch down. 
So you know, normally that body's turned sideways. We're gonna turn ourselves a little more forwards here. And all we're gonna do is extend that arm out and back. Again, we're, we're extending and back, snapping that punch out as fast as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, just like the jab, you're gonna do 50 of those. So pause the video and again, really work on stepping out and see how that hand comes back to my chin. This is where my hand lives. You get used to that. It's either punching or it's on the side of your face. It can't live out here and then bring it up when you feel like it. If it lives there, um, it's always gonna be there to defend yourself. That way you don't have to block, okay? You're already naturally blocking. So remember, 50 snap reverse punches. Okay, everybody, go ahead and get started. Okay, everybody, we're gonna put that jab punch together. This is, uh, you know, one of the most basic combinations. Um, it's really good, it's really fast, one, two, if you throw it right, okay? So we're gonna work on throwing this right, um, you know, maintaining good technique, keeping ourselves covered the whole time. As I throw that jab, look how this hand is up. Now these two hands are going to switch and then I return, I'm covered. It's not gonna be one, back, two, back. You see if I do that, boom, there's an opening, I get hit. But if I throw that one and these two hands trade places and then I come back, there's never that opening. Watch me, see if you can find that opening when I throw that jab punch. One, two, back. Where is the opening? There probably isn't one, okay? One, two, back. I want you to practice throwing it just like this. Look how my elbows are in. And what we're doing every time, guys, we're breathing. Shh, shh, back, okay? Again, one, two, back. See how I'm rocking my feet a little bit? My more advanced belt, you guys know how to do this. In between, rock the feet. We're gonna throw that one, two, back. Again, one, two, back. Keeping that window closed, okay? Don't let the, keep the window open, things start getting in. One, two, back. Again, one, two, back. Let's do a couple more, ready. A little faster. Again, again. Five more, ready. One, two, three, four, five. Okay guys, we're not done yet. We're gonna do what's called the burnout round. That means you're gonna go non-stop punches. Left, right, jab, punch. Okay, we're gonna try to go for 30 seconds non-stop. Try to keep up with me. Uh, can I get a timer there, 30 seconds? That's my beautiful wife. She is my cameraman <laughs> and my timer right there. Okay. Oh, it's 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes, she's trying to kill me. Okay. <laughs> oh goodness. That's okay, I need a little rest. I'm getting tired anyway. 30 seconds. One, two, jab, punch, jab, punch, jab, punch, jab, punch, jab, punch, punch. Look how those hands are trading places. Okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not swimming. Some of you guys I see here, you come to karate class and you practice your doggy paddle. At that speed, make sure you're breathing. Use those hips, use those shoulders. Faster, guys, faster. Burn it out, keep on going, even if those arms get tired, keep going. And 30. Okay, excellent guys. Okay, take a rest. Hey everybody, back with you here. Um, you know, when you first start training in martial arts, you know, we teach you how to do, you know, your basic punches, your jab, your reverse punch. Um, and, uh, you know, we really emphasize on that reverse punch, especially that we pivot, we rotate. We want to have good technique. Um, as you get higher up, you've got to learn to not only punch, but you've got to learn to move as you punch. Because as you realize, as you start sparring, your target doesn't stand there and let you hit them. You have to learn to move and get that target. Okay, so we're going to work on a, a simple uh, punch movement drill. Think of yourself kind of like a little marionette, a puppet. Okay, you think about that puppet, you know, you raise one side, you know, the arm and leg, you raise the other side. So, you know, that arm and leg move together as you're doing your jab punch. Okay, we want to really keep that in mind as we're doing this drill. Okay, so let me give you a side view here. You can see what I'm talking about. Okay, as I do that uh, jab, I'm going to step with the front leg and do that jab. 
Um, the timing should be the, the, the step on the ground is almost like the sound effect for your punch hitting. That's the timing of it. You can, you can hear and see here that it's almost like I'm making that, that sound effect. That doesn't mean I want you to stop, okay? But you should hear a little noise as you do that jab, okay? Now, we also want to avoid stepping too far. You know, it's not this, because now I'm kind of off balance here. Um, that's too big of a step. Now, if I go forwards, I'm going to step. Now, that backhand is going to throw the next move. Now, so however, however far I step with my front leg, that's how far my back leg steps up. And as I step up, boom, punch. Okay? Let's try that again. Okay, I'm going to step, step. Watch the timing. One, two. Now, a common problem is taking too big of a step on that second step, where it'll be one, two, and now I've switched my stance. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, just a small step. Remember, however much I step forwards with the front leg, that's how much the back leg steps up. Even steps. Okay, not like that. It's not even at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice going forwards. We're going to do a few punches. Try to follow along with me here. So again, step, step. We're not working on power, just nice and easy punches. We want to get that technique down first, guys, okay? Step, 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 step. Notice how I'm keeping those hands up? Okay, let's do a couple more here. I'm gonna back up, and again, I'm in that stance. Got my guard up. Step, 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 step. Now, if I want to go backwards, backwards movement is really important in sparring. Um, same thing, if I step with that right leg, that back leg, I'm gonna step, punch, look at the timing. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear that step at home. And again, don't, don't really work on stopping. I just wanna make sure you guys see that connection, okay? Step, now I'm gonna back up with my front leg, punch with my front hand. Again, punch, 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 punch. Let's go forwards again. Step, 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 and backwards. Step, 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 forwards. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, back. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, forwards. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, back. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can change your angle. I'm going to pivot. Okay, same thing. Now, once you guys start to get this down, you can start to uh, kind of, you know, shadow spark. We did that in our last session where you're moving forwards, you're pivoting, you know, you're changing up what you're doing, and you're starting to put together combinations. This first one is real simple. All we want to do is do the jab punch because we want to get those basics down. Um, go ahead and practice a couple rounds of this, you guys, until this feels natural. Okay, get started. Okay, so now that we got our, our front and backwards movement exercise done, we can do the same drill, just moving side to side. So again, remember uh, which way you're going. If I'm going to the left, okay, I'm going to punch with that left hand first, that jab, okay, that front hand. Step. Now, however far I step with that lead leg, the back leg is going to take the same step, same side step, and punch. Okay, again, step, 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 step. Now, if I go to my right first, I'm going to step with the right, punch with the right, step with the left, punch with the left. One, two, one, two, one, two. So back to my left. Step, step, left again, left. Right, left again, step, step. Let's do one more, step, step. Let's go back to the right. Look how I step and punch, the timing. Punch, 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 punch. What we're really looking for, um, I talked about this in one of the videos we put out the other day, is the transition of the hand. It's not punch, punch. See how there's a big, opening in my punches, there's a big window that you could attack me. I step, and as I do the next step, those hands switch. Step, 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 step. I'm keeping this nice and slow so I can keep 
that technique. Now we can start to mix this up here, okay? I can go side to side, I can go forward, I can add pivots. Okay, step, 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 step. Let's go back, step, 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 step. Let's go to the side, step, 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 step. Let's go to the other side. Watch that connection, let's pivot forwards, backwards, let's pivot again. We go to the side, and we go to the other side, and we pivot, and we go forwards. Always with that connection between the hands and feet. They're a team. They work together. Okay? And again, not working on power, not working on speed. Just the, the technique. Um, keeping that form, keeping the feet and hands working together. Okay, guys. Go ahead and get started. Practice that for a few minutes. Hey, everybody. Um, we're continuing with our at-home sparring drills. Uh, one really important thing when you're sparring, and it's, it, it's difficult to overcome this, is flinching. Okay, when someone throws an attack, you know, we see a lot of you guys, your first reaction is maybe you'll block it, but we also close our eyes. And when we close our eyes, you know, we take, uh, we don't look at our opponent for that split second, therefore we don't see those counter attack options. So we have what's called an anti-flinch drill. We're going to do this to make sure you don't flinch in sparring. Now, um, you can see both Mr. DeWalt and I were both wearing gloves. If you don't have gloves, or maybe only one of you has, has gloves, the person who is punching should be wearing those. Maybe have your parents put those on, your brother or sister. And uh, like I said, if you don't have gloves, you can still do this drill. Just be extra uh, careful with this one. So what I'm going to do is he's actually going to have his hands down. He doesn't even really need those gloves right now. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a jab punch nice and slow towards his face. And his goal is not to flinch, okay? He has to stand there and just get used to these punches coming out of his face. Now I got a rule. If as a puncher, I accidentally hit him, I owe him 10 push-ups, okay? So I'm gonna be really careful and not punch Mr. DeWall. I'm just gonna stand here and I'm keeping this first round simple. Just jab punch, jab punch. I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see his eyes. And that way you can see he is not flinching, okay? Jab, up, jab, up. Ooh, look at that. Oh, man. Good job. I'm going to go for maybe about 30 seconds. And again, just jab, punch, like this, back and forth. And he's training himself to see these punches and not freak out to this. Okay, I think that's about 30 seconds. So for the next round, let's go ahead and turn sideways again here. Um, Oh, you still don't get those hands. Keep those hands up. See that natural reaction to bring those hands up? Um, I get to start throwing any punches I want. So I can work on my combos. Same rule applies. If I happen to hit him, um, I own 10 push-ups. I don't want to give him 10 push-ups today. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. This is good for the person throwing punches because it teaches you to work on combos. Let's turn sideways again so that you guys can see that he's not flinching. You know, this works on my control, my combinations here. Well, I don't think I've gotten him to flinch once. That's pretty good. Okay, guys, so go ahead and practice that at home again. Be real safe with this one. Um, you can see I was going slow. I didn't hit him once, so I don't owe him any push-ups. Okay, you're gonna practice a couple rounds of this. You know, go about 30 seconds around, take a little break. Okay, get started, guys. Hey, everybody. Uh, the next drill we have here is called the pillar drill. Okay, you think about pillars, those big columns. Um, you know, they're nice and sturdy, help to hold up those buildings. In your fighting stance, your pillars, okay, this is what keeps you safe. This is what protects you. Okay, not down here, up here. We got those pillars. I'm going to do a jab punch at Mr. DeWall, and that's it, just jab punch. I'm not going to change up the combo at all. And he's taking the previous drill, the, the anti-flinch drill, and now he's incorporating blocks into that. So he's not going to be flinching. He's going to keep his eyes focused on me. So again, when he's sparring, he's going to be ready to pounce on that counterattack opportunity. Okay, so I just start off nice and slow. Now all he has to do is block anywhere from the the, the hand down to the elbow, he wants to block that punch. So see how he blocks that? He blocks, blocks, blocks. And I'm just gonna be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And this is just training yourself again to block those punches, to keep those elbows in, 
and to not flinch. If you don't have gloves, you know, um, I can do it without gloves here. Uh, same deal. You know, I'm going to be real careful with my punches. You know, this is just about reacting. You know, you can even do it with an open hand. Okay, almost like you play a patty cakes here. And we're just trying to react. Now we can speed it up a little bit here. Okay. Um, so again, if you have someone to practice with, you know, have them throw those punches, react to that. If you don't, honestly, you can practice that same drill on your own, okay, uh, really focusing on keeping those eyes open. Okay, guys, that's called the pillar drill. Get started. Okay, everybody, on to our next drill. We're, we're kind of combining drills. We want to take the aspect from the previous drills and combine them with the next one. So we have our anti-flinch drill. We have our pillar drill. Now, I told you we're, we're keeping those eyes open and focus on our opponent so we can counterattack. What's going to happen is, I'm going to give Mr. DeWall an attack here. He's going to pillar with just one side and then instantly counterattack with his own jab punch. Okay, so I'm just going to give him a, a jab. He's going to block and then jab punch. He's going to aim at my hand here on that. Again, I come up here. So he wants to fire that back as quick as possible. Jab, jab, punch. Again, jab, jab, punch. As soon as he blocks, he comes out with that jab punch. Notice I'm using this hand to catch. And again, I realize not everyone has gloves at home. This drill can be done easily um, if none of us have gloves. If we can go ahead and take our gloves off here. Okay. Again, we just gotta be a little extra careful here. So instead of throwing a punch, I'm just gonna give him more of a uh, kind of a high five, a slap. Okay, he's gonna shield, jab, punch. He, he can give me a punch, that's okay. I got my open hand here. He can shield, jab, punch, shield, jab, punch, shield, jab, punch. We can even go a little faster. We're working on that reaction, you know, we're not flinching. And let's do it from the other side. So I'm gonna attack with this hand. He's gonna shield and then punch, jab, or jab, punch. It really doesn't matter which one you lead off with. The most important thing is how fast you react and that we don't flinch. Let's do a couple more. Okay, this is something that's going to take a while, the whole no flinching thing. Um, practice this drill several times. Make this part of your regular routine, and before you know it, you're going to see all those openings and sparring, and you're not, going to, you're not going to flinch. Okay, guys, go ahead and get started. Okay, everyone, I want to give you another version of the same drill here, the pillar with counterattack. Um, if you don't have someone to attack you, you know, mom and dad are busy, uh, your brother and sister can't help you. Okay, so again, we're going to shield, jab, punch. Okay, just practice shield, jab, punch. We're working on reacting as quick as possible. Shield, jab, punch. Shield, jab, punch. Let's block the other side. Block, jab, punch. Shield, jab, punch. Notice how I'm reacting as quick as possible. As soon as I shield, I fire off that jab punch. Shield, jab punch, shield, jab punch, shield, jab punch, shield, jab punch. Not closing those eyes. I keep those eyes open. Now I can mix it up. Shield, jab punch, shield, jab punch, shield, jab punch. Okay, guys, I want you to practice that for a few minutes. Self-defense number three, headlock. Begin, hands on your knees. C step. Hands up, double hammer fist. Grab with the left, pull, shift, palm. In. Return. C step. Double hammer fist. Grab, shift, palm. In.
Self-defense number four, rear strangle. Start, arms up, horse stance, left elbow, left hammer fist, left eye poke, head grab, flip, punch. Self-defense number five, rear shoulder grab. Step away, parry, grab. Side kick with the front leg. Tiger claw, rear hand. Tiger claw, front hand. Side kick combination. Rear leg side kick. Sliding side kick. One step flying side kick. Pop up side kick. Jab punch. Aye. And again. Hi. Side kick combination. Number one, rear leg side kick. Number two, sliding side kick. Number three, one step flying side kick. Number four, pop side kick. Jab punch. Multiple kick combination. Rear leg front kick. Rear leg side kick. Rear leg roundhouse. Spin back kick. Jab punch. Hi. Again, rear leg front kick, rear leg side kick, rear leg roundhouse, spin back kick, jab punch. Hi! Spin kick combination. Number one, spin back kick. Number two, pop up side kick. Number three, inside crescent kick. Number four, spinning outside crescent kick. Jab punch. Hey. Again. Spinning back kick. Pop side kick. Inside crescent. Spinning outside crescent. Jab punch. Hey. Spin kick combination. Spin kick combination. Hey everybody, we got a fun game for you today. Um, now we've been focusing a lot on that jab and reverse punch, um, you know, really uh, emphasizing the techniques. Now we're going to see if you got that speed. I'm going to have Mr. Fan will get the fighting stance here. Now I'm just going to use my hand. You know, if you guys have like a, a sparring glove you want to put on, you can do that. 
um, you know, hold a pillow in your hand, or like I said, just use your hand. Uh, Mr. Fat Hill is going to throw either his jab or his punch at my hand, okay? And if I see him coming, I'm going to pull my hand away. So we're going to see if he's fast enough to hit my hand. So you guys can have mom and dad do this for you. Um, you know, maybe your brother or sister. Um, you know, hold that hand up and see who's got the faster punches. Okay, so hold that hand up. Oh, he's pretty quick. He's going to make me look bad on this. Oh, he's got those fakes going too. He's, he's got two points against me. Oh, he's got three points. He's making me look bad here. Oh, man, he's, he's messing me up here. I got to get him. Oh, I finally got him. So at that point, we switch. Okay, so now he has to hold his hand up. Okay, hopefully he doesn't make me look too bad. Oh, I got him once. See if I keep those hands up. I move around. I fake a little bit. Oh, I got him again. I got him again. Oh, I got him. Oh, got him again. I'm here to like it again. Let's go another one. This is a good time to work on those fakes. Work on that hand speed. Oh, I missed. So it's his turn again. Let's do one more round. One more round. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't even change that. <laughs> oh, I think I got it. Excellent. Okay, guys. That's our hand speed drill. Go ahead and practice that for a few minutes.